Man, this dog meme is hilarious. Whoa! <gasps> ah! If you've ever had fashion emergencies like Vicky here, we've got some great quick fix-it tips that can save the day and your dignity. Grab a pen and paper, you've got some DIY clothing hacks coming at ya! Whether your late-night dessert sessions are catching up with you or you simply bent the wrong way, rips and tears happen. Make your first stitch from the inside of the seam to the outside. Next, stitch on the other side but from the outside and go back across again and again like shoelaces. As you move your way up, make the thread taut but not tight. See? Easy! Once you get to the top, go ahead and gently pull to tighten the stitches. Check it out! It's starting to look like a natural seam. You can't even see the thread anymore. To be prepared, always keep a needle and thread in your purse or book bag so you can quickly remedy a bad situation. No one should know what color undies you're wearing. Yes! It's movie night! And tonight we're watching The Notebook for the hundredth time. We just can't get enough of Ryan Gosling, can we, girls? Ooh, you got the good chips this time. Nice choice. We'll never get sick of this movie. Oh no, she can't remember who he is? No, he's your love, remember? Oh god, why are we doing this to ourselves? Again! Oh man, they both died holding hands. It's just so sweet. Why do I always think this movie is going to end differently every time I watch it? Whoop. Um, um, Vicky, help a sister out here? Oh, looks like I snagged you there. I'm sorry. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna just borrow your bobby pin for one second. If you have a snag in your sweater, loop the thread through a bobby pin just like this. Then stick the bobby pin back into the sweater and out through another opening. See? Looks like it never even happened. Here's a closer look. Put the thread in the pin, push it through, and push it through another opening. Snag be gone. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. Thanks. Whoa, Vicky, your makeup. <laughs> um, Helly, you should talk. Oh, man. Watching it again next weekend? Yup. Nothing can spoil a beautiful day outside in the fresh air, right? That is, until a greedy little thief steals your hard-earned cash oh. right out of your pocket. Helly, come on, turn around! Oh, man. There's gotta be a better way to hide your cash in your pocket. Here's a nifty hack. Take a regular old maxi pad and open it up. But don't take it out of the wrapper. Take a wad of cash and fold it up inside the pad, right in the middle. Now seal that sucker back up and watch the magic. Next time you're sitting outside, stick your makeshift wallet into your back pocket and you can rest assured, no one's gonna want to yeah. steal an old pad. Ugh, nothing good is on. Stupid. Seen it already. Ugh. Hey, Helly! Whoa! Jeez, Vicky, what did you do? Pop that button off with a slingshot? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh no, not our picture! Okay, seriously, will this thing slow down already? Whoa! Pineapple juice down! Don't sweat it, Vicky. I got you. Here, take this dime. No offense, Helly, but how on earth is spare change going to help fix Vicky's pants? Believe it or not, a metal coin like this can actually come in really handy. The next DIY clothing hack is a really clever one, so watch closely. All right, let's give this guy a try, shall we? Cut a piece of denim out of an old pair of jeans in the shape of a circle. Flip it over so that the back side is facing up. Place the dime in the center. With a needle and thread, start to make stitches around the dime. You can make the stitches fairly large, but not too big, see? Go all the way around. Go ahead and gently pull the string tight so that it puckers the fabric around the dime. Now wrap the rest of the thread around the tail multiple times so that it's nice and tight. Put the button into the first buttonhole so that the tail is facing inward. Turn it over and start to widen and flatten the tail fabric so it's pressed against the jeans. With your thread and needle, sew the tail down flat so that the button stays put. Snip off the remaining thread. Now take the other buttonhole and slip the new denim button through it. 
Hey, that looks pretty good. So if you're ever in a bind and don't have any spare buttons on you, spare change and some clever stitching can save the day. Another day, another work outfit. And while you like to keep things casual, a nice shirt tuck can take your outfit up a notch. A tuck in the back. And a tuck in the front. Looking good, Helly. Now grab your bag and off you go! Oh shoot, my shoe's untied. Oh! Oh man, get back in there. Need to grab that box up there? And there goes your shirt again. Ugh, is there anything more annoying? Yep, I knew that would happen. Um, um, if I continue doing this all day, people are gonna start thinking I'm scratching my butt. If you are sick of tugging at your work shirt all day, this hack will knock your socks off. Grab a pair of scissors and cut across the bottom of the shirt before it starts to curve. Now get a pair of stretchy undies. Take the front of the waistband of the underwear and fold it down against the front of the work shirt, like this. With a needle and thread, begin to stitch the two pieces together. With the second stitch, go back over the fabric to the other side so you can see the string looping over the edge. Once you've stitched the undies along the bottom of the shirt, do a couple loop-arounds and knot off the end of the thread. Well, look at that! You just fashioned your very own leotard. Oop, you're not done yet. Make a cut across the crotch area. Take the front of the underwear flap and fold it upward. Place a small snap on the fabric and begin to sew it, starting from behind. Once you've done four of these, two on each flap, you'll see that they snap together. This part may have taken a while, but the snaps come in really handy when Mother Nature calls. Now when you put on your shirt, you don't even need to take the time to tuck the ends in. See? Now your shirt can lay perfectly flat with no awkward bunching. Go ahead and give it a tug test. I wonder how long it took her to put those fake eyelashes on. That's enough fashion news for today. Yikes! Oh man, I can't get off this couch, it's freezing! Oh, hey, what's this? Fuzzy socks? Now we're talking! <sighs> okay, now I feel way better. Whoever invented socks is a genius. No more ice for these toes! But if you really want to get smart with these, pull the fabric from your ankles over a pair of sandals like this. Now you have yourself a pair of fuzzy slippers. And back under the blanket you go. Stay cozy, Vicky! <sighs> Toasty warm goodness. Packing for a trip there, Helly? All that stuff should fit into your backpack, right? It's just a short two-day trip, after all. Hmm, wait a minute. All right, come on, please fit. Maybe if I just keep shoving it in again and again, it'll all fit? I'm never gonna make it to my trip on time! Hey there, Helly! Packing trouble? Oh jeez, it's like a monkey packed that thing. Let me show you a little packing hack my mom taught me that never fails to save space. Take this t-shirt and lay it flat on the table. Fold the sleeves in over the chest. Now take other items like your towel, underwear, and socks and lay them on top just like this. Lift up the top of the shirt with everything on top and roll it on down. Kind of like you're making a little burrito, filled with clothes instead of beans, of course. See the ankles on your socks sticking out of the sides? Pull them over the ends, securing the roll of clothes you've made. You can do it in one big cuff, see? Nice! Now you've got yourself a compact burrito buddy to take with you on your trip. Oh wow! They can fit right into my backpack no problem! And what's also great about this packing method is that your clothes won't be as wrinkled. Hurry up, we're late!
guys! What DIYs and crafts would you like us to make? Leave a comment below! Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you want to see more of our videos soon! Tap the notification bell to know when there are new videos from our channel! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to our channel!